20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the ones you did do. So sail away from the safe harbor. Explore. Dream. Discover. As a kid, I grew up hearing these stories about my grandparents that at the time I thought were normal, and now that I've gotten older, I've realized they're not normal. My grandfather had this idea to hand make a trimaran sailboat and sail it from New York to Florida with his whole family. You know, I think at the time, my grandfather probably just thought it was an incredible adventure for his family and didn't really realize the ripple effect that uh, this bold trip would have. In we came from New York Harbor and we it's this incredible story that started and then passed along to me. And so that was the impetus for starting Wilderness. I saw a whole generation of people who are working their brains out in the cities and never getting out into the wilderness and not discovering the balance that venturing outside of your comfort zone regularly can bring. You can't figure out like where the good campsite is. We're in Alaska <laughs> and uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna go into the wilderness. We picked Alaska as the destination for this adventure because it's the last frontier. In a way, it's the last wild state in America. Shell Lake Lodge, middle of nowhere. Happy to be here. A typical day on the Alaska expedition looks like an early morning wake up, warm up the machines, and then usually we start gearing up for the day. This is the Hayes Glacier? Yeah. We ride right back to the here. Oh, oh, nice. Spend some time riding down a frozen river, getting to big open powder fields, or just exploring for the whole day. We might run into some challenges along the way, so I think it's this combination of risk and uncertainty and fun. There's something about taking risks and being somewhere new that challenges us in a way that few other experiences can. something incredible about my grandfather's motto that if you 
are open to it, we can really grow into better versions of ourselves when we are outside of our comfort zone, in the wilderness, trying something we've never done before. Those are the stories that live on.